Let's take a closer look here at the TaylorMade uh, DHY Stealth Iron. This is basically driving iron stroke hybrid combo. So down by the ball looks chunky, looks like the kind of driving irons of times gone by. You see the club out the back, medium to, well, pretty thick top line to be fair. Um, it really looks like a driving iron. But it feels stealthy solid. Like that feels like a rocket. I feel like we're gonna get some pretty good numbers on this club. Oh yeah. And from the shaping of it, you can see how thick it is down here at the bottom. And it's kind of, it's this rounded back that makes me feel it looks more like the old like hippo driving irons, if anyone remembers them. But I like that. I like the fact that I feel like I could hit this from the ground and the tee. And that's kind of what it's trying to do. It's trying to really bridge that gap between driver or fairway wood down to your longest iron. And the shape feels close to a hybrid, even though it definitely is more of an iron. It's hollow bodied and you can hear that in the sound. It sounds good and fiery. It's got the through slot here at the bottom. They're trying to keep ball speeds up. I think it's 69% kind of more hollow in, in the club, I think. Well, let's have a look at some of the tech from TaylorMade. So it's a performance driven shape, they're saying. So low profile, profile head, which we definitely see. CG is uh, positioned extremely low, so trying to launch it. Forged hollow body construction. Cone technology in the face, flexible face, speed foam air, so 69% less dense than its predecessor. So they're saving weight and redistributing it where they need to. And it's got the through speed uh, or the through slot speed pocket, which is there to increase fl uh, face flexibility, is what Taylor made is saying. So, as you would expect, it's packed with their tech, you know, which has been for years. I'm using the 19 degree free here. And it feels like it would touch my free wood for distance, but on the shorter side, you know, it'd be more, it would be, I stop at a six sign, so I need something else, but this would be the club close to my free wood coming down from my free wood, because it feels strong. I definitely feel like it would be a great teeing off club for anyone who's struggling with tee shots. You know, they, they run away from their driver a bit and want something which feels a bit more consistent playing it from a variation of lies. Yeah, it's gonna launch lower than maybe a hybrid, but if you've got some speed, this one's still gonna pop up in the air. I mean, it's super low profile, isn't it? I've hit that pretty average, and that's doing not too bad. Let's look at these numbers. Yeah, so 213 carry, totaling 231. I mean, I do feel like I could get this out at 250 top end and hit it in at like 210 variation, 135 ball speeds, 3,400 spin, which for a free iron is pretty good. All the stealth iron range has been super, super powerful, and this feels very much the same way. Um, I'm liking it. I, I actually feel like this is something I could game, and I'm a true hybrid player, but I do feel like if I wanted that flat, kind of boring flight, this one, would definitely do it. Like you're not gonna get any of the balloons up in the air that you can get from hybrids. I mean, that's a pretty much a line ball getting out there at over 230. Loving that, definitely easier to hit in the driving iron. World, it's a little ugly, but performance is the opposite. It's good.